Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back. So today I want to show you some of the things that I added to my procedural generation implementation in Unity. I'm showing you some of the generated buildings that I created previously. I wanted to add more life, meaning I wanted to add vegetation and that's what I'm going to be showing you next. So this is one of the examples that I showed you previously. And, and it looks cool, don't get me wrong, but I think if we give it more vegetation, it's going to basically take it from, you know, being not alive to uh, an alive community basically where we have you know more vegetation so if i go to this other one i have a couple of them so this one is similar it doesn't have a lot of vegetation so i want to show you some of the things that i added so if we go into the vegetation one which i've been experimenting with so if you look at what i have right now i've been just doing it on the on the window so i've been creating simple a couple of simple examples of using vegetation like for instance, on, on this one, I have a plan and I call it three one. So I have a lot of different trees that I've been adding and they're very simple. I mean, you can, you could swap this with models that are more, you know, they have more details and they have textures. I just wanted to keep things simple because I'm, I'm mainly doing everything. I'm doing the modeling, I'm doing the coding. So I think this, you know, minimalistic style works really well for me. So if we look at some of the components that I added, for instance, this one has that. I also have some a small a small tree with a base. So I just try to model an example that had, you know, it had a ground and it had a couple of leaves and then I put them in different locations. So this one has one with, it has an open window. We have a base with three trees. And this one, you can see that it looks a little bit different because I didn't want to keep them the same. So if we look at this base, which is this one right here, we can focus on it. It doesn't really have it only has three of them but the but the shape the shapes are randomized i mean they're they're different because i wanted i wanted them to look different so if we look at this other base this one is on the side is it you know it's basically across this column now if we go down to the other ones this one has two different bases with three plans and this one i just wanted to do something different with you know still keep the still keep the tree have an open window but only have one base with three plants on on this one so whenever you're creating procedural generated buildings i want to in my case i wanted to keep things more random so that's why i'm doing different variations and i mean we could do thousands of variations in my case i just have i just have a few this is just another open window where i just put a base on on one of the windows and i kept the window closed on the other one so this is exactly the same model that I have here and you can see that this one is a prefab so all I did is just clone the windows that I already had which I call an open window and then just added another one of the plans that I had with the base and then this one is just one of the other ones I just wanted to open you know open both windows and then just have a plan on one side and also a plan on the other side so let's say that we wanted to we wanted to add another random window and, and just to do something different. So this is this is normally my process. I go here and I say, okay, well, I have I have one variation here. What if I wanted to have a base on the other side? So all I do is I create a new one. So let's say that this one is going to be base four. And what I'm doing is I just right click on it and I just say, okay, I'm gonna unpack this prefab completely because I'm gonna be basically creating a new prefab from it. And then the other thing that I do is I go from, you know, from ISO to perspective view because it's going to make it easier for us to model. But then let's say that in this case, we, we didn't really want to have all these trees. And, and I think one thing that I should have done is I did unpack completely. You want to unpack just the prefab that, I, that I'm on. So let me do this one more time and I can show you why. Because this one has prefabs inside. I don't want to unpack the prefabs that are inside. I just want to unpack the one that is on the on the outside so i'm going to do four and i'm just going to do unpack prefab that way we can keep these as prefabs and i don't change those completely okay so in this case what i can do is i can say okay you know what on this tree what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it to the side and let me see why okay i think i know so let me go ahead and remove these ones as well and we're just going to focus we're just going to focus on this one so on this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, you know, I'm gonna have a plan that is gonna be sitting right here. And maybe we move the base from being on that other side to this side. And just probably just put it right on the corner. It doesn't need to be perfect because, you know, we're randomizing this thing. So the the person who looks at it, it's not gonna see all the little details. And, and I'll show you, I'll show you why, because we're, we're really, 
you know, on the camera size is, is really far away from the buildings. So if you wanted to create more detailed structures, you can. In my case, I just, you know, keeping things very basic. And then what I can do, I can say, okay, I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close this window. And if we really wanted to change this a little bit more, we can just say, okay, you know what? I want more plants. Maybe this person really likes to have a lot of plants and we can just add another one right here. And let's say that, and then we also have this other three. We maybe we just keep them in here. And then, like I said, tr try to make things that are more random. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and don't keep things similar because you know, it's, it's not gonna look as good as you know as it would if you do a lot of more randomization on positions on you know on rotation in this case i think i think this is plenty so i added a new base and then this one also has a couple of trees i i don't like keeping things with bad names so like unity adds this you know parentheses with the number one as it's you know as with an incrementer as you are cloning them i try to keep things as clean as i can so i'm just going to rename it to what it was and then we can just move it up, keep all the objects that are alike together. It just keeps things a lot cleaner. So this person really likes to have a lot of plans. So now what I normally do is I want to, I'm gonna to go to prefabs and I'm gonna just drag and drop this into the prefab folder. And now I'm gonna have a new base. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the focus on this one so that you can see what we're gonna be generating. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my buildings here and we're going to be looking at some of the properties. So right now I have a window option. So let's go ahead and crank it up to nine. And yeah, it's going to randomize it, that's okay. We're going to also going to be adding our new base. And and you know, as soon as I do that, you can see that some of them have, you know, repeatable, repeatable, I can't even say that word, repetitive prefabs for, for the ones that we just added. So if I go, let's go ahead and zoom in into that building and we can get closer so that we can see some of those randomized. So you can see that this one is one of them. This is, you know, that was as easy to add it. We just have one of those rooms that have, you know, those buildings. And if you look at those windows that have a lot of trees, you can see that this one as well has those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and do it as well on the other ones. Let's go ahead and do nine on this one and it's gonna regenerate, that's okay. We're going to select number four. You can see that this one has it this one has it and i know that it has it because we have two different trees in there and we can i think it looks like it's way too busy we can we can fix that but but i think for now i think this is good we can go this one has nine prefabs for for windows with balconies so we're just gonna add one more and then just double click it so what i'm gonna do i think the i think this prefab just has way too many you know way too many trees and it, it looks way too busy. It's not the look that I wanted to give it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this to open it or we can just, I think it's just, we can just open the prefab. There we go. And then I'm going to, I, I think two trees is too much. Let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and just add the, ba the bases, have those bases in there and then not have any trees. I think that will look better. And then I'm gonna go back. So what we'll need to do is, I think this is already being applied. Let me make sure. Yep, the changes were already applied to a prefab. I'm gonna remove it. And then we're just going to concentrate on the game view. So we can look at the game view and then I'm just gonna remove everything so that we can start from, you know, from scratch when we generate the buildings. I need to do this because I think I still have a bug on the generation of the buildings. So now that we have those added, so now we can hit play and see how the new prefabs get generated. And you can see that it now looks a lot cleaner like this room right here has the multiple bases and i call them base with plants but you you know you get the idea like some of them have those in, in them and the reason why they're getting regenerated if you didn't watch the previous videos is because i have a randomizer to them so if we go for instance we select for instance the the last one let's go ahead and disable the the other two so that we can focus on one so i'm going to disable this one and we're just gonna focus on this one and I'm gonna bring the inspector. Let's go ahead and bring the inspector down so that we can see all the options. And we can go ahead and hit play and we can see what kind of things we can change. So that's gonna be on that building. So let's say that we want to, we go closer to that building. And let me go ahead and hit my F and go closer. And I'm gonna go from shaded wireframe to a regular, you know, to be a shaded and then we can just 
turn the light off so that we can see actually turn the light on so that we can see everything so you can see how everything is getting re regenerated if i go to iso that's the look and feel that i like if i go here and i select it let's actually go to game so that we can see the changes and if i increment the rows we're gonna see you know more variations because the building is now much bigger if i want to let's go ahead and change the number of floors so we want to go the other way so we can go from you know a lower floor to a larger floor and you're gonna see that that's going to start changing the number of floors and you know we're getting a randomized building if i increment the number of cells now we're gonna get mini buildings and yeah, so that just gives it a really really crazy look let's go ahead and go back to one and there we go now let's go back and focus on one of the other buildings so we can see how those other buildings look like I think this is the one that I like how it look. It was the one with the black windows. Yeah, that's the one that I really like. So this is a building that I really like this style. It has transparent windows. So if we go here and look at some of the win some of the doors, so you can see the door has a glass. I can also look at the the window simple. So I think if we go, let's go ahead and pause it so that we can see which prefab I have assigned. If I go to this prefab, this one is a wall glass. So if I go to it, let me go ahead and go back to project and I can look at the door with the glass. I'm going to double click it and we can see. So that's basically what I'm adding. Just a door, a door glass. I can also look at the door simple. This is one of those. And I thought I, I thought I was adding a different, oh, there we go. This is a wall glass. So let's go ahead and look at the wall glass, which in this case, those are some of the walls that I have on the building are going to be of this prefab. Go ahead and go into the the prefab view, and you can see that that's the that's basically a window with you know material that has transparency. So if I go to inspector, it has a particle sta standard only. And if we go ahead and click on play and pass, so that we can keep playing, you're gonna keep it's gonna keep regenerating. So the other thing that we can do is we can go ahead and click on the project and. I add a couple more options. So if I look at the the unit size, the randomized randomized rows, we can also randomize the rows. As you can see, now we're getting a lot of variations. But the main thing for this for this video was to show you that vegetation is gonna give the you know the procedural generator a lot of, a lot more life. And because now we you know we don't just have boring buildings. So if we wanted to keep and go back to the the way that they were before and don't have any vegetation. I can just simply you know remove any of these prefabs that don't have any trees let's say that we wanted just to keep everything simple i can just say okay you know what actually instead of setting this to a one i could do i can say a randomized window selection it's not going to be randomized and now we're just going to have a simple building that doesn't have any you know any randomization because the way that this works is if i uncheck the randomized window selection it's always going to select the first one and now i can just you know keep randomizing everything and it's not gonna have you know it's not gonna have any variation i can also go here and say you know what i want to change the number of columns and you can see that now that is randomizing the number of columns i can change also that as well so anyways that's everything that i wanted to show you today guys if you guys have any questions on anything that i just show you please let me know in the comments and i really appreciate your time and don't forget to check me out in patreon.com where i'm gonna be showing you and actually sharing the source code to you i'm going to be cleaning it up a little bit more before i post it in github but make sure that you check me out thank you guys